15 countries that existed 100 years ago but don't anymore. From the collapse of ancient empires to the renaming of exotic places, the map of the world looks very different now than it did a century ago. There is nothing quite like the bragging rights of a new exotic stamp in your passport. However, that won't be happening with the following countries, which as of astonishingly recently, no longer exist. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn post notification so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos. Whether they lost wars, were adopted by other countries, or simply got forgotten, here are 15 countries that ceased to exist in the 20th century. Number 1. Yugoslavia A hundred years ago, World War I wreaked all kinds of havoc on the borders of Europe. Yugoslavia, a southeastern European country, created in 1918 as the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovens, and renamed Yugoslavia a decade later, united by culturally and ethnically diverse territories that were part of the former Austro-Hungarian Empire. The new nation included the current states of Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro, Kosovo, and Macedonia. But Yugoslavia was headed for more strife in the 20th century, broken up and occupied during World War II, reunited under a communist leader post-war, followed later by fighting during the 1990s. Now that the country is officially no more, much of the region is experiencing greater peace. Croatia's coastal city of Dubrovnik doubles for the hit HBO series Game of Thrones King's Landing, making it such a popular tourist destination that it had to limit the number of visitors. Number 2. Tibet Although we associate Tibet with peaceful Buddhist monks and its spiritual leader the Dalai Lama, this region northwest of India has been fought over for centuries. Tibet was actually its own independent country only from 1912 to 1951, when it was part of China. Efforts to free Tibet are ongoing, and the Nobel Peace Prize winning Dalai Lama, now retired, still resides in exile in India. The country is also a destination for adventure seekers and mountaineers because it contains the highest point on earth, the nearly 30,000 foot Mount Everest, which lies on the border of Nepal. Number 3. Neutral Moresnet Never heard of Neutral Moresnet? You are not the only one. This minuscule country of not even a square mile was carved out of an argument between the Dutch and the Prussians, more on them later in 1816 so both nations would have access to its zinc mine. Neutral Moresnet had its own flag and even made its own coins. Efforts were made to turn the tiny nation into a utopia with its own artificial world language, Esperanto. But it fell victim to World War I and then became part of Belgium. The present-day residents of the area, however, still celebrate the anniversary of Neutral Moresnet's creation. Number 4. Newfoundland you might think of the rocked island of Newfoundland as part of Canada, but that wasn't always the case. The island off North America's northeastern coast was also previously a British colony, but its isolation created a culture distinct from the surrounding region. Newfoundland became a self-governing independent nation, although still a British dominion from 1907 on to 1937, when it voluntarily chose to go back to being a colony after the Great Depression hit hard. In 1949, Newfoundland became a Canadian province, now known as Newfoundland and Labrador. Interestingly, both names are of dog breeds as well. Number 5. Abyssinia This romantic sounding name was actually the Arab and European moniker for Ethiopia a hundred years ago. In the scramble for Africa, at the end of the 19th century, Italy had tried to snatch it up, but was unable to overthrow its monarchy. In fact, the country was never colonized and was one of the few independent states in Africa until the Italians under Mussolini were able to briefly occupy it during the late 1930s. After World War II, Ethiopia became one of the founding countries of the United Nations, the country's rich history also lays claim to the world's oldest human fossil ever found and allegedly the biblical Ark of the Covenant. Number 6. Czechoslovakia this Eastern European country was another melding of different ethnic groups created in 1918 at the end of World War I. Part of the former Austro-Hungarian Empire, 
Czechoslovakia was made up of historical regions, Moravia, Slovakia and Bohemia, yes, as in Bohemian. The Nazi occupation of the area helped propel Europe into World War II. After being liberated by the Soviet Union, it became an Eastern Bloc nation in the later half of the 20th century. Czechoslovakia eventually peacefully split into the Czech Republic and Slovakia in 1993. Today, the Czech Republic is one of the enchanting places that look straight out of a fairy tale. Number 7. Ceylon You probably know of this large island of India as Sri Lanka, but until 1972, it was called Ceylon. That's the name the Europeans give to it when the island was colonized centuries earlier. Under British control until 1948, it then became an independent nation and threw off its colonial moniker in 1972, when it became Sri Lanka. After some civil war in the early 21st century, the area is now stable. In 2011, the country decided to change the title of any state institutions still bearing the name Ceylon in an effort to remove any vestiges of colonialism. It's now one of the most popular travel destinations in Asia. Number 8. Basuto Land Now called Lesotho, since its independence from Britain in 1966, Basuto Land was united as a nation in the 19th century under King Mashushu I, who later applied to the British for help in warding off invaders. Only one of three countries in the world to be surrounded completely by another, with the Vatican and San Marino, both enclaves within Italy. Basuto Land was located inside what is today South Africa. Lesotho still has a royal family and is now a constitutional monarchy. Prince Harry, who is very fond of the country, founded his charity for children in Africa, Sentebal, with Lesotho's Prince Seisu. Number 9. Ottoman Empire Unlike the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Ottoman Empire, which still encompassed Turkey and some surrounding areas by 1920, survived World War I. But not for long. In 1923, after losing most of its other territories, it became the Turkish Republic. Prior to the Great War, though the empire ruled for more than 600 years over lands that also included parts of Eastern Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. Its influence is still seen today in the culture and architecture of Turkey. For an up-close look, visit Istanbul's Grand Bazaar, which has been wowing shoppers since 1455. Turkey is also one of the incredible beauty destinations from around the world to add to your bucket list. Number 10. Sikkim Have you heard of this tiny mountain region in the Himalayas? Sikkim was a sovereign monarchy from 1642 until it became an Indian protectorate in 1950 and then a state in India in 1975. Also bordering Bhutan, Tibet Autonomous Region of China and Nepal today, Sikkim is dominated by snow-covered mountains, which the people revere as both a god itself and the home of gods. A footprint of the Yedi, aka the abominable snowman, was allegedly found in Sikkim in 1948. Number 11. Persia The name of Persia conjures an ancient Middle Eastern kingdom, one of the oldest civilizations in history. Since the height of its power in ancient times, the country was oft fought over but still retained its old moniker all the way until 1935, when it officially became Iran. Today we mostly think of Persia when speaking of Persian rocks and Persian cats, but its culture is alive and well. Unfortunately, continuing unstable international relations are keeping Americans from visiting. Still, Iran's La Desert is one of the most extreme travel adventures in the world. Number 12. Siam. Anyone who's seen the musical The King and I might wonder where on earth the King of Siam, the real life King Mongkut, who ruled from 1851 to 1868, actually lived. The answer present day Thailand, whose new name was adopted in 1938. Never colonized by Europeans, Siam was an absolute monarchy. After unrest in the 20th century, Thailand is now a constitutional monarchy. Thanks to its hundreds of islands, clear water and gorgeous coastlines, Thailand is a popular tourist destination today. It's even home to some of the most amazing beaches to add to your bucket list ASAP. Number 13. Prussia 
You heard that right. Not Russia, but Prussia. This country which encompassed land in Central and Eastern Europe, including present-day Germany and Poland, existed in some form all the way on to 1947. The Kingdom of Prussia enjoyed much success in the 18th century, but started to lose its territory in the 19th. Until the unification of the German Empire placed the Prussian king at its head in 1871. Although it's a little complicated where Prussia ends and Germany begins, the defeat of the empire and the abolishment of the Prussian monarchy after World War I extinguished its influence. But Prussia continued to exist as a German state until the land was divided up and the name formally dismissed after World War II, erasing it from the map forever. Interestingly though, the descendants of the defunct monarchy continue to carry their titles. Prince George Frederick Ferdinand of Prussia is the current head of the former ruling family. Number 14. Zanzibar The islands of Zanzibar, an archipelago of Africa's east coast, sound exotically alluring. The name probably makes you think of spices, explorers, and adventure, and for good reason, the area was once an important trading local and was established an independent sultanate in the 19th century. Although it became a British protectorate soon after, the Sultan continued to rule on to 1964. Having gained full independence the previous year, Zanzibar then merged with mainland Tanganyika to form present-day Tanzania. Today, see the highest point in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, before heading for the tropical paradise of the island's beaches. Tanzania is also home to one of the naturally beautiful pink lakes from around the world. Number 15. Sarawak Now a state in Malaysia on the island of Borneo, Sarawak is a land full of natural beauty. Created as a kingdom by the adventurer James Brooke in the 1840s, Sarawak was ruled by its descendant until World War II, when it was occupied by Japan and later ceded to Britain. In 1963, Sarawak became part of the new country of Malaysia. Interestingly, Although Brooke was English, he resisted British imperialism and is largely regarded positively in the country. Rudyard Kipling's The Man Who Would Be King was likely based on Brooke and is also the inspiration for the planned upcoming film White Raja. The Brooke family is still active in Sarawak through the Brooke Trust. Travel to Borneo isn't cheap. In fact, it's one of the world's most outrageously expensive vacations. Thanks for staying till the end. If you did enjoy this video, please do all to hit the like button, drop a comment below, share with your friends, and turn on post notification so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos.